You guys hear that sound? That's the sound of the first axial hard body crawler. Yes, you guys heard right, Axial has a hard body crawler. It's on their SEX24 platform and it's the 2021 Ford Bronco body. These things look absolutely awesome. Let's head over to the workbench and I'll tell you all about them. I have to tell you, I didn't see this one coming. I thought Axia was doing a really good job with their Lexan bodies. The SCX24 Gladiator look really awesome, but they have brought it to a whole new level of scale with these Bronco hard bodies. Look at these things. We've got blue, we've got gray, we've got red. They've got scale accessories on them. They have LED lights, clear windows, full interior. I am just too excited about these new releases. They are on the SCX24 platform that we've seen before. They do come completely ready to run with all the batteries in the kit, but these things I think are just going to look so good on the trail. Let me grab one of these things. I used to see it up close and look at that. Look at the detail on the grill. We've got a new bumper on there. We've got door handles, mirrors, this thing is so cool. All right, all right, let's just start off at the front. So yes, this is a molded plastic grill. We've got clear lenses on here and LED lights behind the lenses. And down here in the bumper, we also have LED lights. So this thing lights up really well, should look cool in the dark. And I even noticed that the shackles or D-rings, whatever you want to call these, uh, also move. So we've got some scale detail already up front. We haven't even got past the front bumper yet. And right behind the grill, uh, the fender markers, those are separate pieces. And then moving back here, uh, the mirror and cowl are all one piece. And then they have actual mirror decal for the side view mirrors. Over here, we've got door handles that are separate from the main body. Uh, the fender flares are part of the body itself, but they're painted in this nice matte black. Same with the side rails here. And then the roof is also painted in that same matte black. But look, I mean, we've got clear windows all the way through. I think they're lightly tinted. Yeah, I guess it is lightly tinted. And uh, of course we have the full interior in there. That is Lexan and I do like that choice. It helps keep the body lighter than if they were to go with a hard molded plastic because this body is gonna add some weight to this rig. But uh, they have also gone ahead with the cowboy driver that seems to go in a lot of their vehicles now. Somebody at Axial must really like cowboy hats because it's on everything. But look up top here, we've got a roof rack already fitted with accessories we've got you know your toolbox over here we've got your roto packs and then we've got sand ramps and if you go and twist the little clip here you could pop the sand ramps off of course it doesn't want to slide off there we go slides right off and as you can see you can go ahead and use those to get out of trouble in scale fashion as you should you know no hand of god here uh, as i just turned it with my hand but anyway out back we have a full spare tire. We've got clear lenses for the tail lights. These don't have LED lights in them. All the LED lights are in the front, but uh, it does look pretty cool. We've got all the four decals. There's the Bronco decal, Axial Bronco license plate, new bumper for the rear of this thing, of course. And this thing just looks really cool. Now, as you can see, it's got a Nitto decal on there. That's because it has the newer Nitto Trail Grappler tires on Ford Bronco wheels. So, I mean, this thing just looks really cool. These are the smaller diameter tires, uh, smaller than we saw on the Wrangler. So uh, again, everything looks a lot more scale here. And you'll also notice that there are no body clips on this. That's because they carried over the Velcro front here as well. And it has some really sticky Velcro to it. Really hard to do with one hand actually and tearing this thing up, but there you go. You can see the body just pops right up. There's that inner Lexan interior. There is your LED lights, nicely routed too. You can see the wires just go right to the back keeps everything out of the way. And now let's take a look at the SCX24 chassis. This is pretty much what we've seen before, guys. I don't really need to go into the major detail about this. We've got your steel frame rails, uh, four link suspension out back, three link in the front. It does have the standard friction shocks. However, they did put the harder spring on the rear like they did the Gladiator to make up for the weight of the body. It's got the same wheelbase as the Wrangler, not the Gladiator, which is the extra long wheelbase. Uh, but chassis wise, you know, your, your basic plastic cross bracing, new, new cross brace out back to secure the, the body. 
uh, the battery has been moved. Usually it runs lengthwise in the chassis. As you can see, it is now uh, changed up a bit. We have the newer Horizons 2-in-1 speed controller unit, receiver combo. Uh, this, uh, everybody is talking about, works a lot better than the previous units. And I actually noticed that in my Gladiator. I thought it was the same, but it's got a better feel to it. There's your motor attached to the uh, center drive line like we've seen before. There are worm drive axles on the bottom. I know I'm running through this, but you know, we've covered this a lot on the channel. I will definitely put a link to some of the other videos up top so you could see that. Uh, we've got your micro servo, the AS1 for the steering, and there is your LiPo battery pack that it comes with. As I mentioned, uh, this is completely ready to run. There is a USB charger for this, really easy to charge up. It is the newer USB charger, uh, and they give you the newer Horizon 4 channel radio system for this, uh, which allows you to go and control control the LED function from the buttons on the radio system. They also give you some AA batteries, uh, some decals, of course your instruction manual, uh, a little bag with a drive shaft in there and a hex wrench in case you need to do any mods, uh, an axial decal sheet. But man, these things look really cool. Let me know in the comments section which color you like the most. So right now, I'm gonna head out, show you these trucks in action, just have some fun with them.
All right, drivers, we already know that the Axial SCX24 is one of the best bang for your buck small scale crawlers out there. And the new Ford Bronco is no exception. This thing is an absolute blast to drive and it looks really cool on the trails. Now it does carry a higher price tag of $199.99. Uh, I will update the video description if that ever changes. I'll also have links down below so you can find this thing easily, but I think it's worth it. We're getting a painted hard body from the factory. It's licensed by Ford. We also have licensed wild track wheels on here, licensed Niddle Trail Grappler tires, and you know, the cost of everything is going up nowadays, but I think it's still worth it. It's just a blast to drive. It looks so cool. I had so much fun driving these things for you guys. Now, it does handle a lot different because of the weight up top. This is a much heavier body than anything else uh, from the SCX24 lineup, and you could feel that out on the trails when you're side hilling. This thing will just go over without warning and roll down the hills. And the body seemed pretty tough. I mean, I rolled these things a lot, no scratches uh, in the paint or anything. I got some scuffing going on, but they seem to be pretty durable. Now you could go and change up the feel, the performance of it by kind of reducing some of the weight for free. Uh, one thing is to go and take the spare tire off the back. I noticed once I did this, there was a little sag in the back and it just kind of popped right back up, leveled the chassis out and that helped with the handling but you could go and also take all the accessories off the roof rack everything unscrews even the roof rack unscrews uh, obviously to get to the other accessories here to take those off if you want to you could remove the uh, interior if you want and all that lightening up will help with the uh, feel of it but uh, obviously you're going to lose some of that scale detail which is what makes this thing so cool uh, but you know if you, you really get into it you can go and modify some things for free and get per better performance out of it obviously you could go the other route too, add some weight down low with some brass uh, but these are really fun cool rigs uh, the smaller tires really help out with the handling just to help bring things a little bit lower than let's say if you were driving the Wrangler with these tall tires on there. Uh, the rollout is different though. So the top speeds of the cars, even the Gladiator with the smaller tires isn't as quick as the larger tire Deadbolt or Wrangler. Um, not too big of a deal, but something I noticed when I was having fun driving these with my kids. Uh, they're a fun rig to drive. The steering is decent on them. They handle pretty well and there's tons of accessories out there for these. So if you want to go and modify the chassis, uh, you know, the suspension on here, you could go ahead and do that. These are just awesome, awesome little rigs. So much fun had a blast with them. Again, I will have links in the video description below. Let me know what you think about these new additions to the SCX24 lineup in the comments section below. Hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. Throw the video a like. We'll see you back soon for some more RC driver videos.